Well guys, here we are, just a few weeks past the Elenac launch for the Time Lock Progression Server, classic rule set. Wow, that's a mouthful. So I wanted to share my take of it all so far. So join me in this wonderful blast of nostalgia from the past that we love on this channel so much. And with that guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. Upon first logging in, I was taken back by a blast of nostalgia staring at me right in the face. The UI looked a little different, but it also looked somewhat the same. One thing of note was the advanced looting system. When we opened it, we were extremely confused. After we dove into it, it's actually really cool. So possibly a future video coming up soon. I started a gnome necromancer and finding a monster to kill wasn't super easy starting out. There was just a ton of people playing just like any launch, right? After the first night, it really caught my groove. I got our group on Orc Hill, and this is where the fun really began. This group went from Orc Hill to Crushbone, from Crushbone to Unrest at the gazebo, to the main room in Unrest, all in one game session. It was so much fun. We chatted between pools and we helped each other out with our chosen classes, tips, tricks, all the above. We all friended each other at the end of the group, and once again, the nostalgia was going. I actually kept in touch with a few of them afterwards too, and that was really, really rare. I definitely don't remember the last time I friended anyone in the hundreds of thousands of dungeon queues I did in World of Warcraft. In fact, on our way to Unrest, I needed to buy a gate and bind affinity. I was kill on sight to the High Elves as a gnome necromancer, so another person in the party picked it up for me and met me there with it. After a few more nights of playing my gnome necromancer and my troll shaman, I decided I would rather have a melee character and do some pulling and tanking. So I made a warrior. Brave guy making a warrior in classic, eh, Pwn Star? <laughs> That's what people were telling me. But uh, yeah, that's right. Pwn Star, the Dwarven Warrior. Only one R, because my Necro has two R's. And I'll eventually level up the Necromancer, because I want to do some like cool solo slash duo stuff in Plane of Hate. But for now, this warrior is going to be fun. Overall, I've had tons and tons of fun. The community is pretty decently nice, and we've created a small guild called Vassward Flaum, which is Explosion Spell in Ultima Online, for those of you guys that didn't know. My plans for the guild are unknown, but for now it's a nice to have a guild tag and a chat system for us. If you'd like to join, give me a slash tell. Aside from that, the game feels pretty dated. Many people from the community have stated EQ didn't age well. And while I have to agree, I also have to state that many people, like myself, like playing with the older graphics. You know, you can go into the launcher, you can turn off the new graphics and put the older graphics on. It's really cool. Once you get a handle on the advanced looting tab, it's actually a great source, just like we said, along with a lot of the other quality of life things. We did download a map pack called Bruala, and that's been super helpful. I do remember having to remember all the points of interest and just different places to turn and, and, and navigate and all that. And, you know, thanks to things like Google Maps, I just am not good at navigating like that anymore. So the map has been very helpful. I think I'd like to make a quality of life video, uh, kind of outlining the different quality of life updates that EverQuest has implemented and that are still on the classic rule set server today. So do me a favor, guys, if you got them, go ahead and comment below or jump into the Pwnstar Gaming Discord and just let me know what you got. It'd be very helpful. Other than that, guys, I really don't have much to say elsewise other than I've just had a lot of fun playing it so far. I do plan on making, like you guys can tell, plenty and plenty of EverQuest videos. So make sure you guys subscribe, like the video. Thanks to the Patreons, the channel members, and you guys for hanging out with me. Other than that, guys, Homestar Gaming 